Okay, I'm in my comfortable heels era. If I can't stand in it from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. and shake my ass, dance, and be okay, and not feel like I'm gonna tumble down when I'm tipsy, they're not for me anymore. Are what you accept. So if you don't have any boundaries, if you don't have anything put into place, any lines, any barriers, a man. Is gonna be manning okay a man is going to be manning out here happy Tuesday everybody um I'm not really doing much of anything I gotta go to the store I need some pimple patches to get rid of these pimple I need some Florida water and something else and I know if I send babe into the store for pimple patches Florida water or anything else He's not going to get it. The only thing he knows how to get in the store is food. So, I'm gonna go to Walmart. I also dyed these weave, this hair. So I dyed those hair because I want to try to do a versatile sewing on myself. Try to get a hair appointment. I waited too late. Miss Nikki is booked and busy, so I'm gonna be left to do my hair myself. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I need to grab some perfume and my wallet. Your girl is dying for some um, some wine but we recently learned that all US based wine have sulfites in it and we haven't been drinking it. I just dyed my hair. I love my hair color. It's giving. Watch update. I'm sending back both the wash. I'm sending back the watch that I got and the replacement. I'm sending them both to Amazon. I order a new watch okay. The app that it comes with the smart app that it comes with the watch sucks it lags it's slow um my other watch like it lays dormant in the background as soon as i put my watch on and turn on my bluetooth this app it doesn't do that i have to refresh that damn app every single day not doing it and also even if i put that damn watch down i tested it put the watch left it on the counter the watch battery died i wasn't using the watch so obviously something wrong with the watch and there's something wrong with the app so i bought a whole new watch on amazon hopefully this one is good okay because i'm tired because my watch that i have my notification is not sinking like nothing is happening and also the time and the date is wrong on this and I can't change it because it's not sinking to my phone so yeah I think tomorrow is when I'm supposed to get the new watch let's see how that works hopefully it works out fine but I'm not holding my breath if this watch don't if this watch is not better than the um if this watch is not better I'm just gonna go on Amazon and find a seller that sells the same type of watch I'm sure there has to be another seller on Amazon that have the same type of watch with the same app and that I have now and I'm just gonna get a replacement because they're literally $19 $19 $20 and I have to um and I have to this one that I'm getting is about uh, this one that I'm getting is about let me see about $35 it's a little bit higher and it does more stuff but still if I have it laid down and it's still losing I'm losing battery power that don't make no sense that don't make no sense at all it's not connected to the Bluetooth is not connected to anything so why is it losing battery power I literally hate coming outside 
I hate coming outside at this time of the day. Anything, anywhere from 3.30 to 6.30 here is always full, is always packed, and I, people are always driving crazy, and I, I don't like coming outside um, around these hours at all. But you do what you have to. All right, we're here. Let's go. Happy Wednesday. The last time you guys saw me was when I went to Walmart for my pimple patches. I used them last night. It kind of brought some of the stuff up on my face. Um, I'm in here getting um, ready. But I just watched the whole um the whole video with Danae Jackson. That is Derek Jackson's wife. And this was my biggest takeaway. I watched all one hour and 14 minutes of it while I was cleaning up my home and taking a shower. The biggest thing I have to say and the biggest takeaway I got from this and her whole story and testimony is we as women need to be accountable for the toxic behavior that we accept, um, participate in, in relationships. But also another big takeaway is that you are what you accept you are what you accept so if you don't have any boundaries if you don't have anything put into place any lines any barriers a man is gonna be manning okay a man is going to be manning out here and do what he pleases if you're not strong if you're not turn up on your P's and Q's, these El Negroes will walk all over you, okay? They will have you as a yam head. Not only a yam head, they will have you as a yam root, okay? From the rooter to the tutor, okay? And have you out here looking crazy, baby. Takeaway I also got from this is men that are in committed relationships whether that be girlfriend fiance marriage come on law husband coming up any type or form of committed relationship with a woman if that man still have a conversation with his exes on a consistent basis reminiscing on them folk talk or the time that they had sex or the time that they were together or just keeping in any contact with exes while you're in a relationship that is a big red flag okay a big red flag and people think that it's okay people think that it's nothing to talk about oh being my ex or friends if you're having consistent conversation to somebody that you were sleeping with, reminiscing about y'all old time days or making plans for now for y'all to have sex, that is emotional cheating. Whether you do it or not, whether you go all the way physical or not, that's emotional cheating. And people like to skim over this and act like it's not cheating. It is just as bad as when you are physically cheating with somebody else. I don't give a damn what anyone wants to tell you, okay? That physical is bad, worse, indifferent. That, that right there is a telltale sign of a toxic individual. And I'm sorry, but that, that right there... I'm not saying you need to be enemies with your exes. I'm not saying you should never talk to them ever again. But having consistent conversation, y'all checking in on each other, y'all making plans to see each other, or having fuck talk 
anything like that, you don't need to be in a relationship. You do not need to be in a relationship. Okay? When you're in a relationship, there needs to be a certain level of boundaries between you and individual that you have sex with or had sex with. Okay? Not only for your sake, but also for the sake of your partner. Show some level of dignity. Show some level of morals. Show some level of self-worth and self-respect. Not only for yourself, also if you have a family. Because at the end of the day, no one is going to laugh at you because you know how society is. They have that double standard, Himagyalis, especially in our culture. Himagyalis, and we are going to be looked at as a big black blood clad coffee. Um, so with that being said, that's the thing that I got from D Denea's Jackson whole interview. I'm waiting for tomorrow because they said the next one is coming out tomorrow. But... Any man that keep in contact consistently with his ex while in a committed relationship, stay very, very far from that person. Leave that person alone. They do not need to be in a relationship with you or anybody else because they are an emotional cheater and nine, time of, nine times out of ten, they will also emotionally manipulate you into thinking that you having a problem with them talking to exes and having fuck talk with them exes and reminiscing about them past fuck session and sending sex and nude pictures and stuff and make you feel like you're crazy when in reality that is emotional cheating and also emotional manipulation i'm gonna go chill enjoy my day watch something fun I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm probably gonna do a sew in in my hair. I'm gonna wash my hair and stuff. So it's the next day and I haven't really been doing anything. I've just been chilling. Um, but I'm watching the second portion of the Nia's Jackson interview. I'm 30 minutes in. And one thing I will say is that when you stand on your 10, when you stand up for yourself, what you believe in, who you are as a person, especially if you have morals and values and people can't walk over you or run over you, people will say, or if you get to a place where you no longer accept certain things and start putting boundaries in place and making people know where you stand, people will start saying that you're crazy, you're mentally ill, all types of stuff as a way to deflect from things that need to be changed in their relationship. Another big thing that I've seen in this also is Denea was going through her healing journey and working on self, going to therapy. And I applaud her for that. Shout out to her for that because when you get therapy, baby, it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. And I'm not saying when you get therapy, you're perfect, but it's a whole different ballgame. Your mindset is different. The way you think is different. But one thing I will say, when you're in a relationship and you do any drastic changes, it will affect your partner. She went deep into Christianity and he was not about that life. And when you switch drastically in relationships is going to cause problems especially if the person is not on board and you're forcing them to go on board with you is going to cause a lot of problems and think something that we need to understand especially as women is even though we change and we're healing not everybody wants to change and not everybody wants to heal and sometimes it's best to just leave them where they're at and call it a day. So, yeah.
So happy Friday. I haven't vlogged all week. The last time you guys saw me was last week, Wednesday or Thursday, when I was doing my hair. But this is going to be a weekender vlog. So tomorrow is Milani's birthday. Liquor Miss is turning three. And I went to go to Walmart to get her a custom cake, but I wanted her cake to be um, Peppa Pig theme. They don't do Peppa Pig. They do mini Barbie, mini Barbie and LOL dolls. And she's more into Peppa Pig stuff. So I got her a uh, I don't know if you guys can see. I got her a regular cake. So I got her a regular cake and they wrote happy birthday on there. But your girl is a pre-planner. I like to be prepared. I like to like prepare in advance. I don't do well unprepared and under stress and all of that, okay? I'm not that girl. I don't do good under stress and anxiety. So your girl pre-planned. I bought some stuff on Amazon, which got delivered. I'm not taking you guys outside. Don't watch y'all. Entry door. Don't want y'all seeing where I live at or seen outside of my home. But I pre-planned, I got some pe Peppa Pig decoration stuff from Amazon for her cake. And we're gonna do it like that. They also have a teeth appointment. Hmm, baby online. What the fuck? They also have a dentist appointment that we're going to tomorrow. So we're going to Miami. Probably gonna leave early. And that's what we're doing. Leave early, come back, spend time with Milani for her birthday. Let her open her gifts and stuff. And then we're probably gonna go to the bounce house and stuff because we haven't been here in a while. And yeah. That's what we're doing. I just got a notification that I'm getting a package DHL Express from Baby Online. I think this is from a brand that is sponsoring a video. I don't know that's what their name is. But anyways, just got from from the gym. Let's let's let let let's show the physique real quick. Let, let's check in on the body on the body. Body on the I hope you guys can see because in here is a bit dark. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up this house. I cleaned a little bit yesterday and I'll see y'all later. Probably show you guys when I'm finished up Milani's hair. I tried to do Milani's hair last night while she was sleeping, baby. It was a headache. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Happy Saturday. We're leaving for Miami. This is the fit. Let's. That's the restaurant we used to go to every single time we came here. Especially when we didn't want to go all the way to Fort Lauderdale for our Dutch spot. And now, it's a 
open a Dutch bar right across from right across the street. So stiff competition there. The people have our choices. Where but Dutch you bar. have African serving the food before. Uh -huh. I don't want to take forever okay. and don't cook the food properly sometimes. Put a Dutch bar right next door. You know what I mean? So she's gonna tighten up our soon your business will be closing down. But that's a good thing though. Put this. Perfect. Perfect, mommy. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Go. Cut your head. Where's the lighter? Where's the lighter? Guys, y'all gonna find the lighter? No. Wait, who is that lighter? Yeah, I gotta find the lighter. Where's the lighter? No, the lighter is in the eye. Where's the lighter? No idea. All right, come on. Tell you a story behind that. If you're in this house, you know Peppa Pig oh, yeah. because she watched Peppa Pig every day. Okay. And if it's up to her, she'll watch it all Last day. Last year was the Mini Mouse, we graduated day. to a Peppa Pig. Yeah. Last year was Minnie Mouse, this year yeah. Peppa Pig. Yeah. Yeah. And she Next will watch Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig every day. They didn't even have any Peppa Pig. Every day, Peppa Pig. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, this is how big is How come I couldn't light that? I was trying to light this um, the other day and I couldn't get it to light. We use this lighter to light it up. We're pretty professional when it comes to fuses. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Malani, don't touch the fire. <laughs> it's a, it's a fire. It's a fire. It's a fire. It's a fire. Woman. How old are you now? Woman. 
sister help her. Blow, mommy, blow. You got it, blow, pop. Wait, didn't we have like a... We had a kitchen before. What happened to it? I don't know. A butch in the And then baby... You gotta cut it, mommy. We go, believe. Go one, two, three, go. Pull it down. Pull it Look, 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 look. All right, we gotta take out the, the candles. We gotta take out the candles. We gotta. What are you doing, Coach? Oh. Oh. So they don't burn people's hands. Oh, thank you, Coach. Ah, you don't do this, Mama. Good, thank you. La, 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 la. Put it in here, buddy. Alright, bud. Ah, what? It's a Mickey Mouse book, Mommy. Look at that kid. Mm-hmm. There you go, bud. Oh! Oh! Yeah, let's go to the next one. Let's see that over here. Mickey Mouse. Jumbo color. Mickey Mouse. 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 Mickey Mouse.
other additional stuff. So she has a bath stuff, pram, stroller. She can go into this dog. with her baby. I got a card for name. Jackpot. You? No. You can't put it on the baby, mom. Kai, you're not playing with Dolly. It's your kid, Kai. He has his own flashcards and stuff. I bought no, him stuff to play. No, you can't put this on the doll. Here, let me take your mirror off. Hi. We boys, we don't play with Dolly. Okay? You said I'm trying to pick a super one and not all of them something. Yeah. Uh, you were walking by. <laughs> Come, you want some So happy Sunday! It's the next day. Malani had an amazing birthday, even though it was kind of hectic going to Miami and coming back. But she enjoyed herself. Thank you guys for all the love that you guys showed on social media, both on my page and her dad page. We appreciate it. And today is Sunday. I got some stuff in the mail. I'm gonna try on and also a unboxing. And when babe leaves, I don't know if he's leaving. I'm probably gonna go run errands. So that's what we're doing today. So the boys at the gate sent me an item that I want to unbox with you guys. And I can't do any errands because Milani fell asleep and baby's gone. But I got a few items that I want to unbox. One including the stuff from DH Gate. So let's unbox that first. So it comes in a super nice box. Legit amazing. It actually came in a DHL, DHL packaging 
but i like that because people won't know what it is and they won't be inclined to steal it so that's how inside the box look it comes with the legit sticker here's how the box come with your herbs tissue paper Ooh, I like the fact that it comes with a dust bag because I have another replica sandals like this but it doesn't it didn't came in a dust bag so this is how it looks I got the black color because I already have a white one and I love it I wear it all the time it seems super sturdy it has white stitching on it and then here is the dust bag that it comes with and this actually feels like real leather I will say that I love that it's a smooth soft leather but it does feel like real leather so this is how it looks on my feet. I got this in a 11. I'm normally a size nine. My feet is more on the wider side. And I will say it's a bit snug, but once I get to, sorry, there's somebody fixing stuff in the back. But once I get to wearing it, I'm sure it will be fine if you have white feet I would suggest you go up about three sizes because this feels like real leather so go up three sizes especially if you have wide feet if you don't have white feet feet go up two sizes and you should be good but it's giving okay I'll be wearing this out all summer So your girl got some stuff from Ego. I normally get my shoes from Ego, Ego Official. I love their site. I used to buy shoes from them all the time. But then I started to diversify where I buy my shoes. But I got this brown, not brown. I got this gold square toe heels from them. I got this in a size 10. I really could have gotten it in let's see what size it is yes i got it in a 10 because of the square toe i definitely could have gotten it in my own size i got it in gold and i also got it in silver i was saying on tiktok recently that i'm in my comfortable shoes era these are super short i think these are about three inches i have a black pair that's exactly like these but i bought it from public desire they're the most comfortable shoes i own so when i saw these on ego and that they are same but different color i immediately snatched these up and i also needed some silver shoes for my birthday but these are absolutely amazing they're comfortable love them i don't care if they're kitten heels or not i need to be comfortable okay i'm in my comfortable heels era if i can't stand in it from 9 p.m to 6 a.m and shake my ass dance and be okay and not feel like i'm gonna tumble down when i'm tipsy they're not for me anymore so i got these and then and then surprise surprise excuse my bed i stripped my whole um bed down today's sunday so you know how jamaicans do we clean on sunday and surprise surprise ego actually have clothing so i got two pieces of clothing from them i got this dress and i wish i had gone down and gotten a size eight size six I got this in a size 8, especially because of the material that it's made from. 
and it was super affordable i think i paid 15 dollars for it same thing with this i think i paid 20 dollars for this and i got this one in a size six because this is made from like a slinky material so hold on i'm gonna try the dress on first I like it this is definitely made from like a slinky thin material and which is why I wish I had gotten it in a six because it would have sucked in the middle section a little bit more but it's okay it's passable and I feel like this with the gold heels will look absolutely amazing together and I like the body detail So, the titties are titty in. I feel like I'm gonna have to cut this and attach like a long string on it. But this is how it looks. And if you guys know me, you know I love me a good jumpsuit. When I'm going out to the club, I want to dance, I want to have fun. I love me a good jumpsuit, romper, whatever you want to call it. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.